Hello, Waylon Lewis, Jerry, Nicole, and Yoga Pod. Hello, Waylon. Thanks for having me. So happy Thank to be you for here having with us. You. Yeah. Elephant uh, Journal, my business, and Yoga Pod go way back mm -hmm. at this point. Um, you two are always like the nicest, kindest people to run into around town. <laughs> and Thanks. my first question is, nice how the hell do you project such beautiful cheerfulness when you're running what I would think would be a really complex thing with a whole bunch of yoga teachers and thousands of students and you have multiple studios? Yeah. How do you stay so chill or is, that just, question. is that just a good look? A lot of yoga. <laughs> yeah, a lot of yoga. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a lot of yoga. Perfect. End of interview right there. You yeah, know, I think I think it helps, of course, that we love what we do. I mean, we truly are passionate about this business. There is great challenge to it. There's no question about it. Um, it's not an easy business to run. I think some when you people, say great challenge, what do you think of? Wow. The first thing I think of is just the, the, the number of students that we seek to please, mm -hmm. the kind of teachers that we the yeah. teachers we want to please. We're kind of perfectionists, so it's hard, yeah. you know, when you have see so many students and you're just worried about every single student having the great experience that you want them to have. Uh -huh. um, That's I nice think we're doing a pretty good job, though. but yeah, yeah, it is. Pairing. It is. Yeah. It, it is. I think we're doing a pretty good job, and we we get filled up. You know, our this this studio, our students, our teachers are community um, fills us up and so even if we're having a bad day mm -hmm. which you said you've never seen but um, well, we I've come in that, here yeah. we come in here and it just like it, it, it exhilarates us really it does so I, so I have a bunch of questions like how the heck do you do that as a couple as well <laughs> but um, I want to encourage everyone to say where in the world you're from and if you have any questions Vanessa who's back here will ask them so any of your questions I will ask Thank try you. me out Great. And we're also going to talk about the New York Times cover story, which was about um, yoga studios and how the heck do they make money and some of it's ethical or not. So we want to talk about your ethics, mm -hmm. your mission, mm -hmm. you know, what's really important. There's a lot of ways to make money in this world. You chose to make your living, your right livelihood from mm -hmm. a Buddhist point of view. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Creating this. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it feels great. <laughs> yeah. So you were saying, or I jumped in. Well, you know, it's just that it is our deepest passion. and. and because of that, the passion in our heart kind of dictates our mission and our vision personally and professionally. And because we're so like-minded as it relates to this passion for yoga and to be in business together, and this is our yeah. third business together actually oh. since we've been married, um, it, it's easier for us. We feel truly much stronger together than mm -hmm. we do apart. Mm -hmm. um, we're pretty inseparable. Mm -hmm. I think we're, we complement each other with our skill set and so we on. Do. It makes it easy. Yeah, it works, it works well. We don't, we don't seem to disagree very often. And when <laughs> we do, I'm usually right. So it just works out great, you know? <laughs> it works out great. <laughs> That's right. Smart I get guys. That. Yeah. I learned that a long time ago. Yeah. I'm learning that one slowly. You know, yeah. but there there are challenges to this business, and yeah. and we certainly want to make money. I mean, that's the reality of it. We definitely yeah. want to make money, but we want to do it right. We want to ensure that we're always providing our teachers a quality place to to teach mm -hmm. um, and to express their gift and talent as, as teachers, mm -hmm. and not constrict them or to or standardize it too much uh, to allow their creative energy to flow. We want the students to have a fabulous experience. We're thankful we just won Best of Boulder again two years straight, which is, yeah, which is awesome, know, awesome, which says a lot. And that's it's competitive. An honor. It's an honor. It is. Uh, it's so competitive. And, and that's what I was going to say. The challenge of the, of yeah. the competitive environment of this business, yeah. it can be daunting. Yeah. And, and sometimes a little overwhelming. Yeah. But Boulder is like famous for its yoga, so that mm -hmm. that's, that yeah. says something. It, it does. does. It does. That's we cool. take good care of our teachers, and, and they mm -hmm. take good care of us. So do so. you have teachers... I mean, retention is important for any mm -hmm. business. Do you have teachers who teach here for many years? Many I years. I kind of know since you I practice know. here once you in a while. Know. Well, yeah, we do. We have teachers that have been here for since day one. You know, mm -hmm. we've been at this for nine years. and, and um, Nine years. Nine years. Wow. This, this past Friday night, we did our ninth annual teacher photo shoot pizza party. And it's fascinating because it was a huge group. And we asked uh, the teachers that have been here nine years ago to raise their hands, a bunch of them raised their hands. So the loyalty and the commitment runs deep on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of love and respect for our teachers, and I think it shows in, in that kind of tenure and that kind of commitment. It is interesting. We don't see a lot of turnover with our teachers. We don't, you know, which is kind of a bummer for the other teachers who maybe are just on the sub list and want an opportunity for their own class because right. it's like they're waiting and waiting, and right. it doesn't happen that often. So, mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. think we pay them well. We have 68 teachers just in the Boulder location. Mm -hmm. wow. And and we I think part of that um, tenure and that commitment, that loyalty, is because 
you know, we like to think that we pay them well and treat them right. Yeah. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't stay. So human beings, you know, I have a staff of, is smaller, but it's like 27 people. You know, there's drama and there's mm -hmm. misunderstandings and, you know, being leaders, how do you do that in a non, you know, I want to say patriarchal way, like a non-aggressive, like kind of thumb down kind of way. How do you let them, as you were saying, manifest in their different styles and, mm -hmm. but you still have to have discipline. You need them to come on time. Right, you know, right, yeah. right. How do you work with that? We don't try to put them in a box and try to make them anything that, that, that they aren't. We want them to express themselves and be creative. Um, it's not, it really hasn't been very challenging to get our teachers to show up on time. I mean, I think really? that because I think they're committed to their students and they know that their students are what allow them to keep their classes. Right. Because if they show up and right. they're teaching to one or two students consistently, it's probably not going to be a class that we keep them on. So they want to show up the for The competitiveness their fuel does the discipline for them. Exactly. exactly. So you don't have to do it. Exactly. exactly. So they show up, they want to show up, they want to be here for their students right. before class, they want to communicate with them and they want to meet with them afterward and see how their experience was. And I think that's what builds their classes and that's what builds them as a good teacher. So Yeah, it's incumbent upon us to create the environment that is fair mm -hmm. for, for the teachers. So, so that is, those that are committed, those that are doing the right things every day, doing the right thing is one of our values. If you're doing the right thing every day, um, then you're going to be blessed with more opportunity. And if you're not, then you're going to lose the opportunity. And because of that structure, it just naturally plays out pretty right. well, you know, right. pretty yeah. consistent. We don't have a lot of stress when we're here. We feel like everything just kind of really works well. Um, the teachers all get along great. Our managers get along great with our teachers. We get along great with everyone. It just feels like a really, it feels like a big family. It really does. But, I know that but, sounds cliche, yeah. but Having it just Having said does. that, though, today, one of the humidifiers, we have a very yeah. sophisticated <laughs> humidity system. Yeah. One of these big, giant humidifiers went out in, in our room. And yeah. So I'm troubleshooting Jerry's that troubleshooting. on the phone with Texas. I'm taking so, pictures of the, of the, um, <laughs> the, the door frames, the paints peeling, and we're like, you know, yeah. it's just We had like, roofers on the ceiling today because we had leaks. So the past point week, is, so. it's not some love and lighting, you know, it's a real thing. It's you have to take care thing. of Take yeah. care of business. Absolutely. So let me ask, so, you know, I think it's none of our business, but, you know, I'm interviewing you, so I'm going to ask what I'm going to try. <laughs> yeah. So I think we're all curious, based on that New York Times article, like, how the heck do you make a living as a yoga teacher? Mm -hmm. So how do the, are people able to make a, a full-time living? They is are. anyone full-time, or is it all part-time? No, of? there are some teachers that are full-time. Okay. Does and that mean they're kind of like... 40 hours a week? What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, I would say like 10, 12 classes a week they're teaching. I think that anything more than that right. is really just in excess and you're not giving your best self or showing tough. up in your best self yeah. all the time. Yeah. But um, but yeah, we have teachers that are there full time. I mean, you know, again, we, we do tend to like high, higher paid teachers probably are the ones that um, are the ones that are having that as their income, that they're not, they don't have a separate job, mm -hmm. a second job. Like they're popular, they've been they're here They're popular, a long time. they've been here a long time, they've showed their dedication, mm -hmm. um, so we pay them well, and, and they, uh, they're amazing, and they're, they're kind of a staple to our Boulder community, really. Right, they're part of so your brand. They're part of our brand. Yeah. But, but yeah. having said that, out of the 68 teachers, there's only a handful that are full-time. Mm -hmm. Sure. There's only a handful. I think we so, would all imagine that. And our challenge is, because gosh, we'd like them all to be full-time. Like, mm -hmm. we'd love to pay them all a great salary and, and mm -hmm. benefits and everything. It's just, it, it, it's it really impossible. Um, and Do you pay better? Is anyone an employee? Is anyone that Just our managers. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. the management team are employed yeah. and they get benefits and so on. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The teachers are independent contractors at this point. Um, yeah. And I know so, you don't want to focus on this, but you have many studios. So this right. is like really, you have to be professional. You have right. to know what you're doing. And this is part of our vision for yeah. expansion because the, the challenge is time and space. You cannot give teachers enough time on the schedule because there's not We'd enough space. Yeah. We've got a three-room studio. This is 6,000 square feet here, here in, Bol in Boulder. 6,000 square feet mm -hmm. is huge. Yeah, it's huge. Three yeah. rooms. So, so part of our vision for expansion was we, we, want, we truly wanted to create more opportunity for our teachers. So they want more classes right. so they can make it more their full-time profession. But you can't get more classes. We've only got three rooms and only so much time in the day. <laughs> With our schedule right. right now, we have 112 classes a week. And, and we still so I'm can't cost you thousands of dollars right <laughs> now. No, no, this is uh, perfect. We're, we're in, in between one of the things. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. In front of the elephant, which is a perfect. But with the, with the expansion, what their, the hope and plan and dream was always that we give our teachers more and more opportunity to teach with more rooms and more locations. Right. So that is tough. You probably see a lot of like hot 
you know, up and coming yoga teachers. I mean, hot in the sense that they're great at mm -hmm. what they do. Mm -hmm. um, and they have nowhere to go. You already said that. So then do you Challenge. lose them to other Challenge. studios? How do they, you negotiate? They, I mean, a lot of teachers Sometimes. teach at multiple studios, which is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they need to share their gifts with the community. And they probably and they, learn. They yeah. learn. And yeah, I think yeah. it's wonderful. I'm, I'm just glad there's yeah. opportunities oh. for them to do that. But it's but some of the, the up and coming, you know, stars, if you will. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we, we try to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prioritize Comedy. opportunities for yeah. them, but it is difficult because but that's a good problem to have. It is a good problem. Yeah. You have Steph really Curry fabric. at the top, you don't have room yeah, for right. another. <laughs> you know, you're right. like, oh, exactly. life's so hard. Exactly. Um, Vanessa, interrupt anytime with questions if you see a good one. Okay. So, everyone, I want to encourage you to say where in the world you're from and ask mm -hmm. questions. I see some questions there, and Vanessa will interrupt with questions. Right. So, let's talk about. Um, I know you want to, or I want to talk, we want to talk about your ethics. So you actually have kind of mm -hmm. codified that. Mm -hmm. What is your mission? So we have five values, actually. We'd like to kind of lay those out a little bit if we Please, could. Sure, um, sure, sure. And this kind of this kind of ties everything together, the questions you already asked us. And our first one that we really um, sink our teeth into is breathe first. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think if we all could stop and breathe first before we do anything, I think the world would be a, a little reminder. better. Yeah. <laughs> it is a good reminder, right? I try to do that when I eat. Yeah. <laughs> I get so excited yeah. when it's eating time, I just forget <laughs> yeah. to pay attention to eating, so I have to like, like Yeah, I know what you want to eat because it's so good. It's so delicious, right? Yeah, yeah, mindful no. eating. Conscious yeah. eating and yeah. mindful yes, eating. Yes, um, so breathe first, and I think every class that we have at the studio, um, we start with breathing. And I think it's just a lesson that we can take. You know, we always try to take our yoga off the mat. You know, we talk about mm. that. And I think that's one of the biggest lessons we can learn as human beings is to breathe first. And I think uh -huh. that brings, no matter what you're coming into the studio with on your mind or in your heart or on your plate or agenda items, you stop, you drop in, you breathe, and then you're ready to roll. And then yep. it sets your day. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Love that. And then, you know, the That's pressure great. the pressure that we feel about what we talked about earlier, the competition, the business side of it, pleasing, uh, trying to please And there everyone. must be days when you're like, oh, you throw your hands up. It's like, catch a break. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, I was in touch with you around your whole sign and yeah. you negotiating with the city. Yeah. Sign the signage. Yes. A couple feet up or not, you know. The exterior sign things. <laughs> and you don't get in the business think you're going to be in six months of negotiating about your sign height. I know. <laughs> exactly. And we already bought the signs, five exterior signs. Yeah. Holy. And um, nothing's cheap, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, especially in Boulder. Yeah, yeah. but th this is where the breathing comes because there are times look, we'll lay a bed and look at the ceiling in the middle of the night and go, what the hell? <laughs> and you you have to breathe. You have to come back to the vision. We call it DOT or discipline of thought. We discipline our thinking around this vision that we have, because the competition, the challenges, all that can call it DOT. Is that they you, call it you two? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't know if that was a teacher. And others, we, no. we actually share that with our okay. teachers too. Like we that. share that with students. We've shared it in themes so and classes. Discipline of thought. Discipline of thought. So what and is that? Again? The discipline of thinking is because we can be overwhelmed. Yeah. Again, with the competition, I get that with the challenges, mm -hmm. the, with the shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so. We discipline our thinking around our vision, which has been very, very well articulated, which includes these values we're talking about. Because the vision brings us back to confidence. Mm -hmm. It brings us back to a place of it's our path. ease. Um, it, it, yeah. Yes, it puts us right back on. Otherwise, it, it's just the mind goes crazy and you start to right. worry and all that crap. So yeah. It can seem um, overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Which leads us to the next value, which is do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So we want to breathe first and we want to do the right thing. And we're trying to, you know, measure that every day with the decisions that we make. So what does that give me an example of doing the right thing in a super small decision? <laughs> like with your humidifier or your staff or mm -hmm. some specific. Yeah, making sure it's working. So it's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the class right. that's coming in at twelve fifteen right. has the heat and humidity that they're expecting. But like where you um, could do the wrong thing and right. it's cheaper and it's easier and no one mm. really. So cares. as it relates to the humidity, we yes. have we have a quarterly uh, preventative maintenance program with our with our local um, HVAC. I mean, you got to make that commitment. You pay that money. They're going to come in and they're going to make sure it's maintenance and taken care of. So that's doing the right thing. It relates to something that's technical or operational. Right. Yeah, and I think I think overall it's just excellence. Just always striving for excellence. And that's what we do. And that's what we do from, you know, with students when they walk in the door, we want them to have an excellent experience. Customer service wise with our team, with our mm -hmm. teachers. And it's not just about the way they move their bodies on their mats. It's about the experience they have when they walk in the door. So excellence. Mm -hmm. I think that is doing the right thing. We, mm -hmm. we do our best to pro to prepare that and, and make sure that this studio and this space provides that for us. Yeah, doing the right thing as it relates to what we, we call uh, abundantia, uh, Latin for abundance. Mm -hmm. Just being, having an abundance mentality that being generous. I mean, mm -hmm. so for instance, doing the right thing. For certain students that find themselves in injury and or that are have issues, challenges with their health. Mm. And we, we give mm -hmm. them free yoga. We yeah. give them free yoga yeah. to help them through that time, especially mm. if they're 
they're unemployed, we give a lot of yoga away. That's yeah. doing the right thing. Yeah, mm. we see um, a student may have to cancel for financial reasons or they're going through a really rough time. How do you hear about we, that? that? When they cancel, they give us a reason why they're canceling. I see. So or it may be somebody like, we know that just is telling us, like, I'm going through a rough time, I need to cancel, or my health is bad, or mm -hmm. I just had a loss, and we're like, we're, we're, it's on us. Or, or right. anecdotally, yeah. our yeah. teachers hear about it, we hear about it in the community, we see it on Facebook, right. we see yeah. it on social media. Sure. Well, this person's having a, a, sure. an issue. Yeah. Um, so we reach out and we're proactive in that, mm -hmm. in that way. Good for you guys. And it feels great. We love to do that. Yeah. We want to give that. And it comes so. back, I think, like the yeah. love, the word of mouth, the, they become does. a student for life. Which puts us into our third value, which is create community. It helps us You're create community. We're investing. <laughs> we're, we're investing. We're investing um, the effort in the community. We want it to happen in the community. We love, we love this community and we've been a part of it um, for 10 years and had this business for nine years and we've been very intentional about grassroots efforts and marketing and being being out there and letting people know who we are and, and what we do and um, inviting them you know on us a lot of times to have an experience and then just then they just take it from there you know and usually it ends up being a very positive thing for most people and if it's not we try to we try to fix it uh -huh. so uh -huh. so what was that one again that was great community. community create the other yeah. two out of the five we talked about yeah. three other two are cultivating discipline okay. and we do that through the practice and we do that through Riding our bikes to yoga. Um, nice. That leads you guys into, ride your bikes. We, yeah, we're doing our best. More and more, we got more them tuned up. We're ready to ride. More and more. Yes. But discipline That's, of just be showing up on the mat because sometimes it's not easy to get out of bed and take a 6:30 a.m. class, or be, even be at a 9 a.m. Right. class, or take a class at the end of a work day. Yeah. Um, the discipline of showing up on your mat is going to make you feel better, and so we just want to try to, you know. Um, promote that and let people know how. So running it is. a yoga studio, teaching yoga, you both teach. Mm -hmm. You still take the time to do yoga? Oh, oh yeah. Here or yeah. privately or here. here? Yeah, mostly here. We did a private class um, at our home this week because Nicole and I are working on a different sequence and a different mm. offering. Yeah, but um, we took the 9 a.m. class this morning. We loved it. We love to be here and support our teachers and, and our then teachers. And you also feel how everything's going. Exactly. We took Matt Kapanis's pod flow class yesterday, nice. so yeah. we want to be here in the community and, and practicing with with our students. Yeah, it's awesome. Do you um, something? Did you have a question? Yes, so a question from Sydney Chase. How do you handle teachers whose behavior outside the studio doesn't align with the studio values? Mm, that's a really good one. What do you mean? So, like, yeah. if, if you hear authentic. something yeah. bad, mm -hmm. like, or you just see them drinking martinis and smoking camel straight? Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, martinis are fine. No, that, 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 it happens. It happens. Martinis, you're not, martinis are you're fine. You're not, you're not far off. I mean, that's No, but, I, yeah, you no, know. No, we definitely. We don't tolerate it, frankly. We no. don't. If if there that's a great question, Sydney. If there's a if there is an issue with a teacher that they're not they're not living they're not walking the talk, if you will, you know, mm -hmm. um, we definitely sit down with them and have a conversation and see what's going on because typically we want to intervene, we want to help them, not just to say you're losing your classes, but you. what can we do to help you? Good for you? What can we do to support you? That's and sort of we, restorative justice style. Instead mm -hmm. of saying you're bad, we heard this thing, we oh, saw this thing, yeah. you ask first, mm -hmm. you see how you can help them back on the path. Oh, yeah. we always seek redeeming the situation. Oh, always yeah. always first. We've invested in in counseling for some of our teachers. Yeah, we've, our helped, we've, we've helped teachers who. What do you mean you've been, invested in counseling? We've, we've paid, paid for. It. Oh yeah, we pay for the counseling for, wow. for teachers. Sure. That's them. a specific. Yeah, especially wow. especially issues that um, you wow. know, as it relates to depression or yeah. substance abuse or things like right. that. We find professionals in our community. We wow. pay for those services. Wow. We've also paid teachers and given them a sabbatical. Say, look, you got to get your shit together. You give them a sabbatical. We pay them through that sabbatical. So it's so, definitely not something we overlook. We don't wow. because it's because you have to show up for your students 100. percent And if you can't do that because of any kind of right. anything you're something. going on, then we need to put a halt to it. Figure out what's going on and get them healthy or or get them back on track. And or at least give them time off. Give them time off to yeah. if it's a loss yeah. in their family. We, or we believe yeah, exactly. in, the, in the principle. Of responsibility too much much is required and we feel like we need to really um, step up our conduct especially in public and mm -hmm. live at a, at a at a very high level if we're, if we're going to be teachers yeah so there's quite the code it's there. easy to say but that's that's pretty powerful stuff yeah, yeah. that you're doing it's got to be real so thank the authenticity's yeah, got to shine yeah. 
through yeah. through everything we do. Mm -hmm. question. So did you want to touch on the other values or on our nature, one more? On our nature is yeah. our fifth value. So my favorite. We of course it is. <laughs> well, community is hard to beat. Yeah. Community yeah. is hard to beat, but um, we we do our best on our nature. I mean, obviously it's a business that that we need to run our electricity and we have our heat and humidity and all the things, but we do. But you our have best your permaculture too. garden out front. Your solar yep. panels. Yeah, we do. Right. We we're, have we're our, actually working on the solar panel thing. We want that to happen. We uh, have our, our, our cork blocks and... Yeah. Yeah, how about that, huh? So for people who don't know out there, a <laughs> shout out to cork. Whether it's your wine or your blocks, is cork is infinitely renewable, provides habitat for the birds and the mm -hmm. animals, and jobs for the cork farmers. Mm -hmm. And you can shave all that cork off and the tree's still fine. Yeah, Fantastic. that's great. Plastic love it, love it, love it. corks, on the other hand, you know, no yeah, yeah, no yeah. Way. awful. Yeah, no so way. please... Cork, cork, cork. Yeah. We're also um, trying to be really conscious about uh, the water. Yeah, consumption. water consumption. We have we have notes in the in the yeah, in change that. rooms. You know, to limit your shower to five minutes. And yeah. Um, we also um, don't have hand towels, so we try to just so we don't have that waste and the paper mm -hmm. waste and stuff. So oh, see, we right. do our part. Nice. We do our, the best that we can. But the energy to is run. probably a, yeah. the big one to tackle. And, yeah. and the bikes, you're doing the bikes. Yeah, we're doing the bikes. We're mm -hmm. excited about Because people our... often are like driving through yeah. traffic yeah. trying to get to yoga. And they're feeling stressed when they get here. Right. So hop on your bike, you get a free mat rental, yeah. which is great. And we love it. We're oh, encouraging that. A free mat that. rental if you free bike. Free mat rental yes. if you bike. I love that. Yeah. encourage that. That's so encouraging for people. We have the new, we have the new, um, Partnership with Community Cycles mm -hmm. here in Boulder. Community Cycles is phenomenal. Yep. Community non Cycles is yep. what it sounds like. They support the community, get bikes to learn how to fix them. Children, you know, yeah. people are super, you know, poor or, uh, you know, maybe don't speak English. They're helping yes. everybody. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Absolutely. So we've given, we've got all their members at Community Cycles. That's it. A, um, <laughs> yeah, you. awesome. A <laughs> discounted membership here. And also Community Cycles has given our members, our Yoga Pot members, a discount for their services. Yeah, oh, we got great. these stickers made, Bike to Yoga. Thanks to, to Bill. Yeah. Thanks to Bill. Yeah. Well, there's a small community, and you can usually get around a lot quicker on foot or by the bus system or on your bike versus driving through traffic. <laughs> and yeah, less this, hassle and frustration. And this is too. a shout out to Bill Regular, our, our great friend and yoga pot student and our PR um, guru. He's awesome, but that was his idea. We made that happen. Yeah, that's exciting. Actually, it's something you and Bill talked about. Yeah, mm -hmm. right on. So thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I biked here, and it was the best moment of my day. Yeah. Like if I'm in a car, I get all stressed out or whatever, and then, you know, yoga can help with that. But sure, sure. biking is, or walking, or mm -hmm. public transport, yes. or carpooling, it's yes. all good. The hop bus stops yeah. right here in yeah. front of our studio. It breaks okay. my heart when I see people, like, driving to the gym to get on an electric-powered oh, walking right. or running <laughs> machine. I'm like, yeah. It's, I mean, I get it, like, no judgment. I don't know your life, mm -hmm. but... Boulder's a pretty small town. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we can get it. Sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Pretty easy. <laughs> I think there's a climate change thing going on. Yeah, I'm not right sure. Right so I heard something about that. Yeah. yeah, so what are the other, like, I know you have some other efforts, planting trees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about a few of the other do goodery things you so do. So we plant a tree for every membership sold. So that's awesome. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. yeah. You personally plant we, a tree no, in your backyard? personally plant a tree. Yeah, yeah. there's an no. organization. You have a forest in your backyard. You have a forest in your backyard. We just planted some. A we good garden nice recently, garden. yeah. yeah um, but yeah, we, we do that, which is mm -hmm. awesome. We do that through an organization that handles that for us. But we also we got involved um, locally just a couple years ago, planting trees up in um, Four Mile Canyon. It was so awesome. right up in the mountains awesome. here. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we planted a ton of trees. We, we had, had a huge bunch of our members and teachers up there. Fires. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So we had huge... Tell people why we need to even plant trees. Yeah, the fires. Yeah, yeah. that was a few years ago, and the yeah. fires burned it down a lot of yeah. the trees, and so we helped to replenish them. Yeah, yeah. you know, we recently we did baby. something for the the California fires. Mm -hmm. um, there were a bunch of yoga studios in California that were displaced, were completely annihilated by by fire, wow. which was mm -hmm. heartbreaking. Right. But just the just. It was crazy for us to think, oh my God, could you imagine our studio burning down or any of our studios? Oh my gosh. And then so the students having mind. nowhere to go, you know? So we contributed, we donated some stuff to a studio, that the one remaining studio that everybody was going to. Mm. And she was overwhelmed. And so we donated money and Aww. to help her get back on her feet and help her be able to pay teachers to pay to hold more classes and, yeah, and accessories, have space block, for... blocks and straps mm -hmm. and blankets. We donated and we had a donation class here, which was really cool. We did that in conjunction with Give Back Yoga Foundation, um, which is started here locally by Rob Schwer, one of yeah. our great friends. We and, featured and him and on Rock the Talk Show. We He's love so him. Yeah, yeah. Love Rob. Yeah. And so check so out Give Back cool. Yoga. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Give Definitely. Back Yoga Foundation is yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because that's important. Often yoga is seen. Uh, 
incorrectly and correctly both as a thing of privilege, it's expensive, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's incorrect in the sense that you can hopefully practice yoga at home. You can, you know, find free yoga classes around town. I'm sure you do free yoga classes or donation from time we to do time. donation classes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely, we do. Yeah. We've got a whole uh, summer program for free classes at the Embassy Suites Hotel. Really? Oh, yeah. so that's oh I remember. Summer, yeah, it used to be Sunday. over by the pool, and they moved us away from the pool, but it's <laughs> no. in the courtyard now. The so courtyard. every Sunday morning at 9.30, so we have free yoga classes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, she can do the pool, afternoon. and then yeah. they has got the mimosa right. thing afterwards. Yeah. So you want to get into that. Yeah, yeah so yeah, we're doing nice. that again this summer. Yeah, yeah. it's really yeah. nice. Yeah. So I think we have another from Vanessa. We do. So Megan Swan asked, Hey, Megan from Seattle, I sometimes frequent a studio that is donations yoga, where payment is donation-based. No memberships or subscriptions. Is this possible for the yoga teacher studio starting out? Is that possible for the yoga teacher studio starting out? So if they wanted to start their own oh, yeah. studio. So yeah, you do some of that. Yeah. There are studios that do that 100%. Yeah. There are studios that do that It's a pretty intense business model because mm -hmm. you're kind of like... Yeah. Knows what's going to happen. Yeah, I think it is an intense business model. And so We're I talking about donation yoga, mm -hmm. in case you didn't hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a con it, truly a totally different model, and it certainly can happen, and it's been successful, no question about it. Um, I yeah. think it's a challenging model. It's really difficult. Um, because one person could give 50 bucks, so yeah. like, that was the best class ever, but 10 people could pay nothing, yes. Yeah. $1. Yeah. I mean, it's just really hard to budget you that. It's and hard again, to budget, how, do, so how do you take care of your teachers and pay and, quality teachers? And pay your rent and you know, your overhead. You have to make sure that's all covered first, and, mm -hmm. then, and then it's a wonderful idea if, if your model is sustainable that way. I'll great. bring some perspective to rent. Truly, the 6,000 square foot space here in Boulder, we pay $20,130 a month rent. So that gives some perspective on wow. the overhead. And this isn't even like challenge. West Pearl. This isn't like, right. you know, like the choice downtown. It's a great it's exactly spot. Right. It's yes. parking. Yes. It's accessible. But the, you're this no, we're, we're 30th and Walnut. Area. We're not down in Pearl. Yeah. <laughs> no question like about strip mall area. Yeah. 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 You've made it beautiful. But that is insane. Crazy. It's insane. How much? Can you say that again? $20,130. And then you have to pay insurance. You have to oh, pay There's everything. probably all kinds of other things. Yeah. There's, there's so the other many other things. things. <laughs> but yeah, it's the good. retrofit. I mean, I wonder about no. that. Like, how do you even pay? You have to change the whole space. Mm -hmm. You have to make it super insulated or something. Oh, keep yeah. the heat in. I don't yeah. know how that works with the HVAC. Insulated we've put, and we've soundproofing our, between the walls. And This was a party on store before we took it over. I so, remember. Yeah, and remember that costume store? It was a furniture store before that. I remember that. You know, we... We put our whole life into this. I mean, all of our finances, everything we've got into this. We're yeah. lo again, we're local, right. um, and we're local owners, and and this is what we've chosen to do. Yeah, we believe in but it. But the so build much. out was crazy. The build out yeah. was only almost a million dollars to build this. And out. it takes forever, right? You don't just get mm -hmm. to like you start paying rent, and then how long before you can open your doors for a customer? Yeah, so oh, we geez. started paying rent when we opened our doors for yeah. shortly when construction was, yeah, yeah. but it was, um, oh, right. it was a process was, of four, four months. months. Yeah. You negotiate that. That's oh. not over by yeah. this deal. But oh. we signed a 20-year lease, too. Right. So we're here ten forever. Ten and five and five, yeah. Yeah, ten with a five and five. Yeah. Wow. We're so not going we're, anywhere. Our intention is to be here for the whole 20 years. <laughs> That's why we put all that investment up front. But the maintain is a lot, you know. It's a, it's the all of it's a challenge, but again, the reward and the fulfillment is so worth it. Well worth so, what is what are the like in the last week or month or six months? What has been a anecdote like reward or fulfillment that's you're like, I'm gonna remember that one oh, like yeah. a moment. You know, that's we co-teach a Saturday morning class at 9:30. You should come sometime. I know you didn't yeah. do that, but still, I'm just, we're gonna get to you one of these yeah. days. Um, it's. Every Saturday morning, it's our favorite class. Our yeah. co-teach, and we have a community that shows up. Nine thirty on Saturdays, yeah. and it's our co-taught class. And we have a community that shows up, and students that we see every Saturday. And I know they show up for us, and we're zany and goofy, and you know, we're just us. Um, but it fills us up. So I would say every Saturday morning, if wow. we had anything that happened that week that just wow. kind of brought us down, wow. we're just like, ah, okay, here we go, and it just wow. it charges this, us. It this really week does. we got three cards and letters, from, handwritten from students, just. Um, thanking us for various Aww. things. Uh, we have a particular student, um, Francoise Hall, who's 87, Six, years, seven, 87 yeah. years old. She's in our class every Saturday morning. She has been for, gosh, I don't know, eight years. Mm -hmm. And um, she's she might not be able to do hot any longer because of uh, some health issues, and she just, cried tears on her card <laughs> saying she's going to miss our class and she's going to take a different class that's not a high oh, class yeah. which is great so she's yeah. still, still in the, in the community yeah. but that was incredibly touching and the gratitude she expressed to us yeah. which is just 
really unnecessary. But we just all try to real. like, as a community, we all try to share our joys and triumphs and, and our and our sadness and our, our yeah. you know everything that that happens to our students. We try to know about if they mm. want to share and open up to us, because it really makes an impact and it makes a difference when community comes together and we can all bear each other's burdens yeah. and we can all lift each other up and we can also celebrate success and yeah. happiness. Yeah. Another another anecdote, one of our students mm -hmm. this week um, adopted uh, a ten year old. Uh, mm -hmm, girl, mm -hmm. and we've kind of been going through that emotion with her mm -hmm. and trying to support her through that. Wow. It was incredible. We gave her a big hug in the lobby the other day, and she's feeling the, the challenge yeah. of that, and there's a lot of tears and a lot of emotion. There was another student in my Tuesday night class who came in and told us that she just lost her dog, which we lost our beautiful German Shepherd recently. So we cried with her and mentioned it to class, in class, that that Catherine had lost her dog Crosby, and so we just it sent just love to her way. and it dedicated the song Crosby. in class to Crosby. Oh, yeah, named after David Crosby. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but we're still so we, up in the mountains uh, above Boulder for a while. Crosby, yeah. like. Crosby's Crosby still still yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, there's some old Victorian up in Gold Hill where they all used to like... Oh, and yeah, they do yeah, at the, yeah. the um, what was the name of the... Yeah, the, the recording studio. Recording studio, yeah. yeah. Caribou, Caribou, Caribou Ranch. Ranch. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Caribou yeah, yeah. Ranch, they hung out there. Yeah. Right, right. Well, well there's pretty cool. Others, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, another question <laughs> from Sydney Chase is, how do you keep classes fresh and new for your students? Specifically, do you introduce new classes often, or is your schedule consistent? Good mm, question. That's a great question, Very yeah. Our, our schedule is pretty consistent. We try not to mix it up too much. Students are very much in a rhythm and a routine, and they like that. So, um, so if you mix it up too much or shake up the schedule, yeah, the, it's hard on yeah. people. We hear it loud and clear too. Yeah, students so. do not like change, yeah, <laughs> and fun. transition is hard. And so we try to keep it pretty consistent. And also, you know, our classes and the times of day that we have them. Um, matching the times of the week that they stay consistent. Um, when we find something fresh and exciting that we think we might want to throw on there, like the, we're going to be starting a new Fusion Flow class mm -hmm. um, that we're just going to have one on the schedule that we're going to teach, just to throw it out there and we'll see if anybody likes that. it. Cool. Um, but other than that, we just try to keep it really uh, right. consistent with our If, if, if we uh, are considering introducing something new, a different, a new themed class or a different style class, we have five different styles here now at the Yoga Pod. What are the five styles? Um, like well, we have vinyasa, we have pod fit class, which mm -hmm. is group fitness class, mm -hmm. yoga with light weights. We've got the hot classes. We have sweat eating beats that Matt Kapanis does on Friday nights. It's pumping, cranking, flow class. And then earthways. Um, and then Kate earthways. Kate earthways. Earthways, Kate Holt Mulherin, which is a fantastic Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those sweat and beats, such an ancient sweat lineage beats. from, or oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's sure From is. India, right? It absolutely yeah, is. Yeah, it goes yeah. back like 40 years. It's the big man. Yeah. 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 Some of the um, earliest examples of yoga, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> but if we are introducing, to answer the question <clears throat> further, yeah. if we are introducing something new, we generally will start it with a workshop. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll introduce it with a workshop. It could be see how it does. Yeah, to see how see it does. See what the reaction any, is. Yeah, um, right. Traction. Get get the response from our teachers, from our students, and, and see. Right. If, yeah. If it because makes because Sydney, this might be interesting for you. We do get a lot of requests. Like students will say, you should have. Uh, this kind of class, and you should have that kind of class, and you should have this kind of class. And right. we're like, that sounds a great idea, but who will show up? You know, right. you just don't know. Yes. So a workshop is a great idea to put it out there and see if it gets any traction before you add something new to your schedule. Do you yes. ever do stuff out of the space, like yoga pod in the park, like well, for younger our... teachers and make it donation, then you yeah. get new students yes. in or yes. something? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're doing the pool thing at the, right. the garden. That's the, right. Yeah. At and, the Embassy Suites. Mm -hmm. We also, on June 21st, it's a Friday night, the, um, the Collegians, um, Colorado Collegians baseball team, which mm. is an awesome uh, team, is playing at Scott Carpenter Park. We're nice. doing yoga at the ballpark. Nice. Um, it's a double header. So in, in between the games, we're doing a 50-minute yoga class. It's taught by Lisa Fear, one of our great teachers. Like she's on the field? On the field yeah. at oh. Scott Carpenter Park. That's happening oh, again so June 21st. And she has a beautiful voice, so she's going to sing the national anthem, too. So yeah. it's cool. Wow. She's like, yeah. So that's another example. But we're always looking. <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing stuff June at the 21st. reservoir. Um, uh, if for, for a couple weekends, I can't remember what that that. Not uh, classes, but we're just going to be there as a promotion, just for. Cool. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, that's June twenty first. Uh, wow. Baseball. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and you had some other little announcement, right? Yeah, you know, I just want to say this, that, you know, as part of our community, um, just to, to give to the community, we really um, want to be uh, supportive of the student community up at CU on mm -hmm. campus. And um, we created these free class cards for CU students. We know they're under a lot of pressure and stress. 
um, during exam week and so on. So we had those distributed all over campus. Nice. Finals got these. you stressed? Yes. For, for yeah, because a lot of students, you know, leave Boulder for the summer, but a lot of them stay too. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to just have a place to kind of breathe a little bit when the, the right. community quiets down and slows down when cool. the students leave. So. We've had a lot of CU Buff athletes come in with these cards. Uh, a couple cool. of members of the rugby team and other, other nice. sports teams. Really cool. Yeah. Nice. That's great. Yeah. Nice. Love it. Love it. Yeah. So um, I guess, you know, one final question just around. I mean, it seems like you're kind of rocking all the expenses and all the stress and all the management and all the community seems amazing. Um, it's the martinis. <laughs> yeah, the martini, the mimosas. That's, that's cool. Right. That's right. But um, yeah, I mean, what? So what's next? I mean, that you want to talk about? What is? You know, do you want more rooms? Do you want we another? Want another location in Boulder. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah, we we're do. working on yeah. that right yeah, now. Yeah, we do. Right. We gotta have it. I guess the biggest challenge we have, and probably the, if you want to call it the biggest complaint that we get from our students, is that some of the classes are too full. We're very sensitized to that. We're hearing it. Yeah. We've capped the classes. Um, Those complaints come around classes I'm in because I have big arms and I'm <laughs> yeah, sweating. Yeah, you, you, you have sweat. one of those like extra long mats. I do. You? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, I mean, these these challenges, I mean, and you know. Um, so time and space, we talked about time and space. In fact, going back to that question Vanessa uh, shared with us and, and putting new classes on the schedule, we get requests mm -hmm. for some unique classes. The challenge is you can't put enough of those classes on the schedule to make them right. valuable or to add to the right. value proposition of the membership. Right. So again, time and space is hard. So with only three rooms, only three rooms, yeah. um, we have to expand. So yeah. we're looking at both South Boulder, North Boulder, We'll see where it goes, but we're working on a couple different And that things. also helps to solve our problem with giving teachers more classes. Like yeah. we want our teachers to thrive and we want to give them more opportunities. And so that would thrill us too, to be able to give them more yeah. opportunities through another location. That's huge. And you have other studios still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. There's, so there's, that, there's, 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 franchise, other, franchise. there's franchise locations. Right. Yeah, the franchise yeah, locations. Yeah, in various yeah. states. You guys are gluttons for punishment. We yeah. are gluttons that's for a big, punishment. That's been a big challenge, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that, yeah. well, good for you guys taking on all the challenges with such good cheer. It's uh, inspiring to me. I manage to complain about my whole life every day. Yeah, I mean, well, I have a great know. time, but yeah. you know, like sure. I'm not like you guys. <laughs> yeah. You inspire yeah. us, man. Yeah, Amazing. you do. It's you really do. Yeah. Yeah. Typical generosity. So thank you, <laughs> thank Nicole, you. Jerry. Thanks, Waylon. Thanks, Thanks so much, Waylon. You're awesome. Yeah, you guys Appreciate are amazing. It, I hope this has been too. interesting. If it's been interesting, give it a like or a funny face emoticon of any kind. <laughs> and uh, if you have any last questions, we'll get to them after. Uh, I guarantee it. This will also be on YouTube. You can subscribe there or Instagram or check out Yoga Pod, of course. Yeah. Most yes. unfortunately. Yes. Please tell right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Much appreciated.